third grade science vocabulary words. There are five words in this presentation and they are listed under the category of mass and matter, uh, floating and sinking, uh, physical properties. This is part two of the third grade science vocabulary words. Mass, matter, and physical properties. Mass, m, a, mass, mass. Okay, mass is like the measurement of the amount of matter in a solid, liquid, or gas. Mass is like measuring matter. Okay, like you see on the on the left here, the Earth, the mass of the Earth is bigger than the mass of Mars, and in the middle you see the mass of the bee is bigger than the mass of the ant, and the mass of the elephant is bigger than the mass of the rat on its back, and then in liquid. You see that full glass of water up top there, that full glass of water. The mass of that full glass of water is bigger than the mass of that small, of the uh, half a glass of water. Okay? Mass is a measurement of the amount of matter in a solid, liquid, or gas. Matter. M, a, mat, mat, t, er, ter, matter, matter. Okay. Now, matter is anything that has mass and takes up space, like a grape, a fly, a brick, a, a ladybug, oranges. Dirt, a milk, goggles, a fish, water, orange juice, all of this stuff is matter because it has mass, mass, you, you know, it, it, it got mass, which is same as matter. Uh, matter is a solid, matter can be a liquid, and matter can be Yes. Okay? Alright. Physical property. F e f z f e z e e k a k a Call Fizz E Call Physical Per Ah Prop Prop Er Er T E Tease Tease Prop Er Tease Properties, physical properties, okay? Physical properties is the attributes that can be observed, measured, or changed without turning into a new substance. Like uh, the footprints, if you change it, you, you can turn into bricks. Uh, the oranges can be turned into orange juice. The apple can be turned into apple pie. And the milk can be turned into a cheese. And it can be turned into ice cream, and the potatoes can be turned into potato chips and french fries. The corn can be turned into cornbread, and the wheat can be turned into bread, and the peanuts can be turned into peanut butter, peanut butter, and the cane can be turned into sugar. So, what they're saying is if you take the 
physical properties of uh, mass or matter and you don't do nothing to it like an apple if you don't do nothing to the apple it's going all the physical properties going to always be an apple but now if you take that apple and you start changing it up you're going to get a different physical property you start putting butter inside the apple you start putting some flour in there and you put it in the and you start heating it up cooking it you're going to get an apple pie <laughs> the physical properties have changed on that apple because you added butter you added some eggs and, and you put some flour in there and you stirred it up and you baked it now the physical property of that apple has changed it has changed to the physical properties of an apple pie okay so if you don't if you don't change the physical property of anything it stays the same but as soon as you start adding other ingredients to it it changes okay so that's what physical property kind of mean okay parents y'all y'all help me out then <laughs> I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying okay moving on float and sink float fl oh float float to rest on the surface or within a liquid now you see the eggs over here the one on the right you see how it's kind of in the middle of the jar because it's got salt in the water so if you put salt inside of water and you put an egg in there the egg will float okay but the one on the left next to the boat that jar don't have no salt in it so you put the egg in there and the egg sinks all the way to the bottom and you see the ship the ship is floating on the water and the kid over here the kid is floating on the water he's not sinking he's floating okay sink 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 is to fall or drop to the bottom of a liquid okay on the left you see the float the waves floating at the top you see that word float up there f-l-o-a-t that's and at the bottom sink float is at the top sink is at the bottom and in the middle you see the um, captain is in his ship is in his little boat he's moving away from the ship because the ship is getting ready to sink down wait a minute oh that goes okay you see them people them, some people on the top of that ship there they're like they're getting ready to go down with the ship and the captain is in his boat captain ain't going down with the ship <laughs> oh i just noticed that <laughs> he ain't going down with the ship everybody else is but he ain't okay now look over to the left there okay you see the jar in the middle is, is water in the top but you put oil inside of water the oil floats okay it's got a cork the cork is light so the cork floats and you see the plastic block that little red plastic block it floats but look on the bottom the grape that grape there you put a grape inside of water it sinks all the way to the bottom and then you put syrup inside of water syrup will sink to the bottom because syrup is heavier than water but the oil is lighter than water so the oil stays at the top so you're either going to float to the top like a cart like the oil or that plastic block or you're going to sink to the bottom like the grape or the syrup or the ship good no child left behind E equals MC squared. E is energy, M is mass, and C constant, speed of light constant. Mm. Squared. Mm. 
That's a very important um, equation right there. Um, hey, that's very important. The end.